The bare red outback dirt brings the Truss family together. The daily job of shovel feeding sheep calls for big and small helpers. Cathy Truss's Boran Station, a 12 hour drive west of Brisbane, is in its seventh year of drought. That's a bit of a kick too as well, but uh, anyway, things are getting better, it'll rain soon. But the big dry isn't the only challenge in Western Queensland. Wild dogs have been decimating flocks for a decade. It's just heartbreaking to see your nice sheep getting eaten. It's estimated sheep numbers in this region have decreased by three quarters since the year 2000, mainly because of the dogs. But for those graziers who've stuck it out, the droughts brought unexpected opportunity, time to build a massive fence to keep the dogs out. You see it done and look how good it looks when you see it down. And you look down and it looks magnificent, finished and it's all, it's all good. It costs the Truss family more than half a million dollars to build this fence, a huge investment in a time where drought is robbing them of a farm income. There's 106 kilometres of fencing on this property alone and more on neighbouring stations. With these fences going up, we could possibly see the uh, sheep numbers around our local area, if not double, but probably triple. Livestock agent Sam Bartlett says this district and the town that supports it has had it tough for years, but believes change is coming. In these dry times, if you can, if you can achieve a few little goals and you know, a few big ones as well, that's, uh, that's definitely a good morale to get through the drought. It's getting closer to, to good seasons and you know, sheep coming back and it'll be so easy with the fence, you don't have to worry about dogs anymore, so that's a massive plus. And it makes you smile, does it? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> the first in many years. Caitlin Gribben, ABC News, Quilpie.